Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and this is Royce or Zion and today I'll be fixing my PC and reviving it with some new parts and salvaging some old parts. Now you may be wondering like, wow I haven't made any content in a while and that's because I've been too busy playing this goddamn MMO but now I'm back because my PC broke and I was like heck let's make another YouTube video. Uh, do know though that this video is going to be kind of like a tutorial or workflow show where I just take snippets of how I build and fix PCs and then later on I'm going to also talk about the PC parts that I chose and hopefully I will give you some useful tips on building a PC or maintaining a PC so without further ado let's get started into building and fixing our baby girl PC So right here, I'm going to open up the boxes that we have and I'm going to tell you what kind of parts I got for fixing my PC or revitalizing it. Over here, I got two terabyte SSDs by Crucial. They are pretty cheap and very reliable in my opinion. And here we got the M.2 Western Digital Black one terabyte M.2 SSD. And here we got the Ryzen 5800X processor. Now my old CPU was a Ryzen 2700X, it's about a 20% improvement and this time around unfortunately I couldn't upgrade my GPU because the GPUs are still too expensive and honestly I don't really do maybe too much high end things so I'm probably not going to replace my RTX 2070 anytime soon. And here we got the flower power or super flower I forgot power supply which was a department branch that used to belong to Evgo I believe I decided to get the super flower power or whatever because it's made with Japanese components and I really like the longevity of Japanese components in general compared to other competitors and then there you saw the Seagate 4 terabyte I'm gonna use it as a cold storage and then right here we have the motherboard so my old motherboard didn't really have that many options as far as USB and SATA and this motherboard which is the Asus ROG Strix B450F Gaming 2 AMD AM4 socket motherboard even comes with a Gen 2 Type-C in the back a BIOS flashback and 256 megabytes of BIOS flash ROM and I think that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to start installing the stuff and setting up the PC. Like this, I guess. And then you plug in this back in there. Not the top side. Oh, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Oh, wait, I have to already set it. Uh, this picture is not really great. But it's all sideways looking. So I'm guessing oh, I was supposed to be on the other side. Oh, it's slideable. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, this is gonna be easy. Never mind. But still, I I don't like installing these. 
Blair Florence. Let's get started. And the last one. There we go. And AM4 is the one that's obviously more inwards, so go here, this is top to bottom. Install the CPU cooler. I'm going to install the RAM and the SSD, M.2 SSD, M.2, whatever. Uh, but normally you would want to test the parts, but since I have faith in this working on the first try, I'm going to install everything and hope for the best. So I'm going to install this first. So lines up back. It's gonna line up in the back one, so this here. Just like that. And we're gonna install all our head backwards. Go fix in and secure it. Nice and secure, not too tight. That's good. And this is for the other M.2 on the bottom right height uh, should be... Where is it? I think it's this here. It's be another M.2. Let me see. Where's the other one that I bought? This thing, this must be a heat sink. So let's remove this. I wonder why this one doesn't have a heat sink. Right underneath should be a letter in that too. Now the heat sink should have been on this one because. I don't know. There's gonna be a GPU on top of it. Oh, this is a big screw. There we go. This is the other one, other slot. I'm just gonna pop this right in there. 
Brand new Western Digital Black. So all the way to the Let's get our next one. You don't want to make it too tight, just tight enough that you can't turn it easily. All right, now we're going to install the RAM. So I trust the G skills. They are kind of a bit dusty, so I don't know if the circuitry is damaged, but on the old computer, they still work. So, oh, yeah, they're, they look fine, actually. Yeah, they still look fine. So I'm going to install these ones in the opposite channel but you should check the motherboard instructions because sometimes they change it sometimes they have it AB so let me check that real quick I'm gonna move this out of the way because we're gonna install that bracket um where's the last oh Wow, CD? Seriously? I don't use the CDs anymore. Alright, so what we're looking for is the RAM right here. In the manual, you can see right here the layout. A, yeah, see? So in this one, in some motherboards, they would have A1, then B1, then A2, then B2. But this one, it's A1, A2, B1, B2. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for the new RAM, I'm going to put it in the A channel because that would be the first one. And then, yeah. So that's cool actually. I kind of like that layout better. So installing RAM is easy. You just pop it in there. That's what she said. So yeah, just follow the indent and that's pretty much it. And right here, click. There we go. Perfect. And now this goes on this channel. The reason why I put this here is because these heat sinks are pretty big and I'm pretty sure there's clearance with the fan and it might interfere like let's find out. So here we got 2 by 16. These are low profile, so I recommend you get a low profile RAM 
You're gonna have like a big ass fan like this piece of shit. Oh yeah. There we go. So at least there's some clearance. So my camera died, so I'm using my phone, so we're gonna set this aside, and we're practically halfway there, you know, we just gotta set up this case on here, and then put the power supply, and then we just add the graphics card, hook everything up, and it should be good to go. It's probably gonna take me like 30 minutes, hopefully I can get some good cable management, and I'm also gonna add these fans over here, and I don't know if I'll have space for some other fans that I have, uh, this 120mm right there, MF. Mother 120, you know what I mean? I'm just kidding, but yeah, let me set that up real quick. And we're gonna have this build hopefully running and up, and hopefully, my sh wow, would you look at that? This case looks so nice, I really like it. So, the reason why I got the Lian Li is on my old PC case or tower. Um, the cable management stuff, uh, it's a Fantex e Eclipse, it wasn't that great and I had trouble routing some stuff through the small socket holes that they had where you would intercept from the back or from the bottom of the power supply to the front of the motherboard. Just too much wires and I hated dealing with it. This one, power supply goes right here in the side, which I like much better and the exhaust comes out through the side. Also. But I like better instead of coming out from the bottom. Uh, that way, the airflow is much better because if you have the power supply plan going down from the bottom, there's a chance where dust can build up and heat is going to be actually more, more higher, higher than if exhaust through the side. That's why I got this one better. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert the motherboard in here, right? That's the first thing I'm going to do is insert the motherboard. Then we're going to start putting the Superflower power supply, 850 watts, gold certified. And then I'm going to install the RTX and we're going to power up this baby. And I already have Windows 10, so I should be able to just start streaming. And then, yeah, let's get this bad girl going. All right, so I was looking for the screws and it's supposed to come with the case, right? Turns out the screws are right here. So if you buy this and you're wondering like, well, where is the screws for the standoffs for the motherboard? You need to just open up this and pull it out. Ugh. So you have to push the clips in and just pull it out like a hard drive. And there's the screws. Oh man, I was about to be like, I'm gonna go to the store or something. But thank, thank goodness, I have good eyes. Alright, I'm gonna put the motherboard in here real quick and we're gonna get this machine running. Alright, so everything is wired up for the case and the motherboard and everything is seated. And I keep saying that I'm gonna put the power supply in now and I'm gonna do it right now. I really like it. This case is amazing. Lian Li. This is actually the first time I ever used a Lian Li and I have to say the experience is amazing. Alright, so before I install these chassis fans, extra chassis fans, we're gonna see if it powers on. I plugged in everything. We got these two SSDs hooked up already, and we got the two hard drives hooked up already. Alright, it looks like it's lighting up. So let's try booting it. It's okay if there's no display. I'll just turn it off. This is just to check. Okay, so we got a red light. That's good. That's working. And it restarted. Oh, it's probably because there's no mouse or anything. Okay, it's a yellow light. It's red, white, yellow. So at this point of the build process, okay. I was just checking if everything was receiving red. power okay. and posting. And everything was posting alright, so then we're going to move on to the next steps. 
What's up everybody? So in this part of the installation, I kind of got confused installing these Cooler Master 120 MF120 Halo chassis fans. However, I also had the Cooler Master Hyper Evo, so you can actually daisy chain them together. So I'm going to quickly explain how to do that. So this portion right here is the three pin power one. So you know this power pin that you normally plug into the motherboard is what you're going to daisy chain and you should have got some wires with these case fans right here okay and then you can also daisy chain the addressable leds which is this part i believe you daisy chain these over i'll just leave it like that and then you just daisy chain them and then you put on this cap connector to secure it and then what you're going to do is you plug in uh this wire that came with the box okay this one was a three-way splitter it came with the remote connector uh, the second part of the daisy chain and then a power or like the PWM uh, connector so this is gonna go into the motherboard so I put it in the CPU optional you can't really see it I don't know if you can see it so the top one is the CPU wire and then the bottom one is the uh, CPU optional from the three-way splitter that is connected to this room and then I'm just gonna tidy up the wires and that's pretty much it so the computer is working fine all right so here is what I did for the cable management I tried to stuff everything up here so this nest right here is basically all the cooler master fans up here that are wired together over here just laying on top of the hard disk drive uh, container and then you can actually route some stuff up here so I have the controller coming out right here so you can just click that to change the colors of the fans and stuff and then over here I tried to do my best to contain all the wires in the front um, I didn't know what to do with these so I'm just gonna leave them like here I was trying to look for like an SSD rack or something like a small one so I can put all my M.2 I mean my SSDs right here but I don't know if they have any of those I couldn't find anything if you guys know where I could mount these S SSDs on because this just, just looks ugly and then in the front I'll show you the front after I turn it around so give me a second so right here we have the front of the case and it looks much better I don't know if you can see I tried to do my best job on wiring and cable management so there's like not much going on and for the fans, I don't have like a full set for these, but these are going to be intake. This is an intake fan. This is also an intake fan. This is exhaust fan and the top are also exhaust. I don't know if I'm able to put a fan here, but this looks like a pretty small one if I'm able to. I don't think you can put a fan there, so I'll just leave that open. But yeah, this should be good. I'm going to put it all up together and I'm going to discuss my end thoughts on this build. And basically, most of these parts, well half of them, are salvaged from my old PC, which is right here. Because it's, it's, it's not working anymore, sadly. Well, some of those parts kind of work, but it's like, it's kind of weird how to explain it, but yeah. Anyways, this is the new build, and I know this looks ugly, but just I'm just going to have to leave it like that. And I know I could do some improvements like change these and get custom modded wires for these like the Asia horse one or whatever but for now I'm satisfied with this let's boot it up so in the end what I did to finish off this build is I salvaged two of the hard drives from my old PC which was a four terabyte and two terabyte and I put those in the back rack of this case and then I also salvaged one M.2 SSD from the old PC. And then I also salvaged one 2 terabyte SSD from the old PC. And as you can see in the front of the case, I have just like a pile of SSDs and some hard drives. And I'm just going to leave it like that. The PC is running. And hopefully I'll be able to make some content and stream more often on Twitch. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in my next YouTube video or Twitch stream. Bye-bye.